Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you something that I've been playing around with uh, the last couple days and it's basically using um, alcohol inks on, uh, on Yuppo, synthetic uh, watercolor paper. Really, really fun stuff. And what I've done here is uh, taken, this is a 5x7 uh, from a 5x7 picture frame and a lot of times I'll flip these over and put them in the, the picture frames when I do stuff. Um, but I also use them as templates to cut out. Instead of measuring, um, I could just cut the yuppo, you know, just trace it with a pencil, cut it out. Makes it really quick and easy to get the right size uh, sheets of yuppo for going into frames. And what I'm going to do is use the alcohol inks with some metallic... Um, powders. Now these come in a pack of 12 and this was like I think 25 30 bucks somewhere in that range. I don't remember. I bought them a long time ago, but they're Pearl X brand and I got them at um I believe it was Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics, but you can find them in craft stores. And what I'm going to use today is this dark uh kind of a charcoal gray looks almost like gra like pencil graphite. Um, metallic powder and one thing I use for getting the powders out of the uh, the containers is I'll use a plastic spoon but I use the back of it right up here because it, it's like a little tiny spoon uh, because this stuff a little bit goes a long way and the way that I apply it <clears throat> is I'll take a small cup this was from uh, applesauce or something or hummus something like that but I'll just take this small cup and um, throw just some straight alcohol in there you don't need a whole lot just enough to, to give you some liquid and then I'll open up this very carefully because this stuff goes airborne very easily and you don't really want to breathe it so you want to open this very gently. Yeah, it's, it's already flying all over the place. <laughs> it's on my fingers and everything. Um, and you can see, I mean, it's super, super fine powder if you've never worked with these. Um, but we're just going to take a little scoop. Just like that. This scoop is uh, about a third to half the size of like a Tic Tac candy. And we'll just dump that in there. And then uh, what I use to work with these is just a Q-tip. So I'll mix this around. And you can see we're getting a pretty cool effect here with the powders as they're suspended in the... Um, the alcohol and I think I'm actually gonna add just a touch more shouldn't have, shouldn't have gotten that wet there and that's quite a bit more it's probably about twice what I put in the first time And you just have to kind of play around with this to get a, a consistency that you like. Um, I mean, we're not making a paste or anything, but you want a good coverage of the powder in the alcohol. And you can see you get these great swirls and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a good amount in there. So that when you put this, um, this alcohol on your Yuppo, you know, you, you want to carry a lot of powder with it. And uh, one thing I do want to mention with this technique is once you're done, you need to spray it with either hairspray or some kind of a clear sealer or something like that. Because when all the alcohol evaporates away, the powder doesn't have anything to keep it adhered to the yuppo. So it will brush off and stuff. Um, so you need to, to coat it to get it to stay permanently on your, your, uh, your surface there. Um, and I remember these little cups, uh, they're, they're actually from Costco. They're for uh, hummus. My wife eats hummus. So she'll take a, 
that with some carrots in with her lunch every day. That's where I get these cups and they're great. Um, so usually when I start, you know, I'll have my little mix here. I'll get uh, an eyedropper and just some straight alcohol and then whatever inks I'm going to use. Um, now something else I'm going to I'm going to use in this video is a Sharpie. Um, this is just a kind of a chisel tipped um, Sharpie. It really doesn't matter what you use. And a lot of people do stuff with Sharpies. So let me close this up because we don't want to knock this over. <laughs> so make sure he's good. Okay, and what I'm working on here is just an old piece of plywood. And I've actually, this is a piece of sheet metal that I've stuck onto the plywood with some double-sided tape. And I use this as my work surface. And as you can see from the bottom, um, sometimes I'll do drippy things and it'll run down and the wood will kind of soak it up. And I can just lean it up back there against the wall like that and work on stuff. And it'll just run down into my uh, cookie sheet here. But when I'm working with these powders, I, I prefer to lay it flat and just because uh, this way I can control which direction things are running and stuff like that. It really just depends on the look you're going for. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Sharpie here and I'm just going to draw. This doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to get eaten away by the alcohol inks um, a fair bit. It's not going to totally disappear, but. Um, it will get uh, altered. And I'm just, this is completely random. So there we go have my uh, my simple little doodle there no idea what that is <laughs> but you know you just go with what you feel and uh, now I'm going to start picking some colors here and I think I'm going to start with uh, terracotta which is a nice rusty orange kind of wow oh, I had trouble getting that open I haven't used it in a while Kind of a, a rusty orangey brown and I'm going to start just by adding some terracotta along this side I'm going to add some alcohol out here This is why I like uh, having a board that I can pick up and move. You can kind of control where uh, where things go a little bit. And in some of these spots where it's dry, you can just put a drop, a drop or two of alcohol. So there we go. And uh, one other thing I'm going to be using in this video, which I forgot to mention, is a heat gun. You can use a hairdryer. Um, you just want to be careful with this, uh, with Yuppo. It will warp and stuff if you heat it up too much because it is plastic. Um, we're just going to kind of push this around. And this is a big part of uh, kind of drawing with the inks, is you can control by going back and forth where they dry and how they dry and you can actually create your own little lines um, like this dark line right here you can kind of push that stuff around to where you want it as it's drying and get some uh, some cool little branches and veins and things like that going on uh, which can give you a pretty cool effect Okay. 
now, I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, it's not really showing, but there is a little bubble here in the actual Yuppo now. It's it's raised up right here a little bit, um, and that's just from the heat. Um, but there we go. There's our first little pass with the inks. And uh, now I'm going to get into the uh, using the powders a little bit. So it's the uh, same idea. I'm just applying the powders with the uh, Q-tip, mainly because I don't have another eyedropper. I need to get another one. Um, make sure you can see in there. And it is a little hard with the Q-tip. I could probably use the spoon. Let me grab my spoon here. There we go. And again, I'm just going to tilt this and kind of uh, trying to get it to where I want it to go uh, to give me the look that I'm after. And I found with the powders, uh, because they disperse so easily, um, it won't be a real strong effect. But if you do it a couple of times, you can actually really get some of that silver to show up. Because uh, right now it's just kind of a gray. If you've seen my fire videos, you know, I really wish I could do that on the Yuppo. <laughs> but it would probably melt it. And make for some uh, very nasty bubbling and whatnot because of the heat. Okay, so there we are with the second pass. And like I said, it's, you know, it's very washed out and uh, not very strong. So I'm just going to add some more. And I suppose you could add the uh, just the dry powder directly onto the surface. Um, I haven't really messed with that too much. Partly because I know that if I had an open uh, container of powder, I would forget and I'd turn on the... Uh, the heat gun and I would blow the powder all over the room because <laughs> I know myself so um, What I'm trying to, to do as I'm moving the stuff around too is to avoid anything that looks like a drop of water. I try to push it around and blend it out. Um, so that like that, it's very obvious that that is a drip of liquid. And I've been trying lately in my uh, pieces to, to not have obvious drops of liquid and, and do more of like this... Uh, soft um, soft areas down into these really harsh veins or, or uh, whatever you want to call them, branches, wrinkles. Um, because lately I've been trying to get kind of a stone look um, with, with the inks. And I think it's uh, about time we introduce another color. So I think I'm going to go with a uh, bottle which is a really dark green and uh, actually no I think I'll, I'll go with something a little a little bolder let's try this dark uh, maroon color to kind of play on the uh, the terracotta so I'll just put a line of that Add some a little bit of alcohol to it. 
And we're going to go back to the heat gun again. I don't know how well this is coming out on the camera, but um, you can still see the the metallic powder in there. It's showing through the, the dark red. Just want to get rid of that white area if I can. Okay, so now we've got the uh, darker color on that side, and yeah, I'm missing some color up here in the corner. The alcohol is eating the adhesive on my masking tape. Now I think uh, for the very middle here, I think I might go with some green, something that's going to pop a little bit from the other, uh, we'll go with this really light citrus. And then for this, I'm going to do a combination of some silver in here in the middle. along with some clear, uh, just straight alcohol. And I've also learned with the, uh, the eyedropper, you can actually push the color just by squeezing hard with the, uh, the eyedropper. It'll actually carry a lot more ink with it. And I let that get away from me. So now I've got green all over the side here, which I, I didn't really want it there. But it's actually kind of tough doing this while I'm trying to film. <laughs> this is just turning into a mess. So I think I'm going to take a Q-tip that's dipped in uh, just the straight alcohol, try to lighten some of this up in the middle here. And I'm not double dipping with the Q-tip so that I don't get my, uh, my clear alcohol uh, colored. So I only dip once. That's not working very well.
there we go. There's uh, there's one piece. I'm not real thrilled about this one, but uh, just wanted to show you some of the techniques I've been playing around with, and uh, turned out a couple that I think are okay. <clears throat> so anyway, more stuff to play with. Maybe check out the uh, the metallic powders. Uh, like I said, do spray it afterwards so that all your powder doesn't come off uh, inside the frame. And uh, there you go. Have a great day. If you like my videos, please like them and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, happy holidays.